No niin kaikki. Today we have some very important themes to discuss, so grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Eli puhutaan tämän viikon Suomen olympia kullasta, jääkiekon olympia kullasta, okei? Okay? Finland won its first ensimmäinen kultamitali ikinä olympiakisoissa, siis jääkiekossa. We won gold medals before, but specifically in jääkiekko. Tämä oli ensimmäinen kerta, okay? So it is a huge deal. You know how Finland takes hockey very, very, very seriously. So I'm just going to talk about this whole event from start to finish, starting from the day of the finals. Okay, eli aloitetaan sunnuntaista, eli Suomen aikaan tämä jääkiekko peli tuli telkkarista, oliko se kymmentä yli kuusi aamulla. Kaikki suomalaiset, jotka halusivat katsoa sitä telkkarista livenä, heräs aamulla aikaisin sunnuntaina. Ja tässä finaaliottelussa oli Suomi ja Venäjä. Eli aika paha. <laughs> Suomi ei nimenomaan tykkää pelata Ruotsia vastaan. Ja yleensä ei tykkää pelaa Venäjää vastaan. Molemmat on siis meidän naapureita. Eli joo. Tiukka peli oli odotettavissa. Suomihan on ollut ennen jääkiekkofinaaleissa, olympialaisissakin, mutta me ollaan voitettu pronssimitaleja ja hopeamitaleja, mutta ei ole ikinä saatu sitä kultamitalia. Ja mä kuulin jossain vaiheessa, että Suomi on ollut näissä olympian jääkiekkokisoissa mukana. Oliko se tänä vuonna 70 vuotta? Eli 70 vuotta me ollaan ollut näissä kisoissa mukana. Mutta ei olla ikinä voitettu kultaa ennen kuin just tämä vuosi 2022. Siksi tämä olikin niinku näin iso juttu, kun me ollaan voitettu MM-kisat pari kertaa, mutta ei olympia kultaa ottu. Okei. Okay. You know the meme, Torilla tavataan. I've made a video about this before. So of course, when Finland wins a big ice hockey tournament like this, um, the first thing everyone says is, hei, nyt Torille. And it's not just a meme, it's not just a saying people say. This is actually a thing Finns do. So if you were to go to the Tori, like I did, after we won, you would have seen a huge celebration taking place. So Sydney and I did go to the Helsingin Tori to take a look at what kind of party was going on. There was a lot of people gathered there, a lot of people drinking, people dancing on the bus stops, dancing on Hobby's Amanda. Mm. <laughs> there was a DJ stand, like someone had driven their car and somehow their car had a DJ booth inside and they were playing music, people were dancing, partying. Santa Claus was apparently there. I suggest if you want to see a video about what it was like in the midst of this party, take a look at Alexi himself's video. He was also there and he interviewed some people and has some footage from like actually within. Mali Sydney kanssa, ni mei voi tunninku olla ihan kaikkien keskellä. Mä en halunnut, et kukaan astuu vahingossa Sydneyn päälle. Sydney on yleensä aika hyvä tämmöisissä ihmisten joukoissa, mutta Yhdessä vaiheessa, kun oltiin oltu siellä pari minuuttia, niin joku alkoi ammuskella ilotulituksia. Ja okei, okay, Sydney on ok niin kuin tämän DJ-auton kanssa, ok ihmisten kanssa, mutta sitten jos ilotulituksia alkaa paukuttelee, niin se kyllä vähän pelottaa. Niin sitten, okei, okay, yksi ilotulitus vähän pelotti, mutta ok, pystyttiin jäädä. Mutta sitten kun toinen ilotulitus ammuttiin, niin sitten sen jälkeen meidän lähteä kotiin, koska Tuli vähän pelottava olo, mut ja Eli tää on nimenomaan se torilla tavataan meemi. Eli se ei oo meemi, meillä oikeesti oli juhlat. Just sen jälkeen kun voitettiin, jee! Kaikki torille heti tavattiin siellä Helsingissä. Ja joo, hyvät juhlat oli. Ja sitten tietysti piti olla ne official kansan juhla. Eli kansan juhla tarkoittaa kansa is kind of like the people, 
the people of a country. Yuhla is party. So literally translated, it's kind of like the people's party. And I know that sounds like a political party, but it's more like, you know, a, the people's celebration. Celebration for the people of a country. <laughs> you get what I mean, I hope. But anyways, this official ice hockey party is called was called Gonsan Yuhla, and they right away started preparing this because obviously it's our first gold, so we had to celebrate it in an official way. So they started ticket sales for this Gonsan Yuhla. Um, it was being held at the Olympia Stadion, which is the Olympic Stadium in Helsinki, and they would be so actually the tickets were free. It was free tickets, but it was a ticketed event. So they were going to be giving out 20,000 crashed completely, mut sit hänen kaveri jotenkin sai kaksi lippua sen kännykällä ja sitten se anto ne meille. Eli yes, päästiin siihen mukaan. Ja joo, eli tämä kansanjuhla oli maanantaina. Se oli se päivä, kun se koko Suomen joukkue lensi takas Suomeen sieltä Pekingistä. Peking is Beijing. So the whole team flew in and I think they got here around, I think this article says their plane landed at 15... 50? Jotain niin kuin melkein neljältä. Ja sitten ne tuli sieltä sit melkein suoraan tänne juhliin. Eli yes, Eli kun mä menin sinne kansanjuhliin, niin okei, okay, aamulla oli ihan ok sää. Mutta sitten just pari tuntia ennen kuin tämä juhla, juhlan piti alkaa, niin se alkoi viideltä ovet aukesi ja sitten seitsemältä oli ne itse juhlat. Mutta pari tuntia ennen näitä juhlia alkoi sata ihan hirveesti lunta. Eli lumimyrsky tuli just sopivasti näihin juhliin. Niin näistä videoista, joita mä otin siitä juhlasta, niin te näette, että okei, okay, me istuttiin niinku semmoisen katoksen alla. Ei kauheasti ollut tuulta siellä, eikä kauheasti lunta niinku iskenyt meitä naamaan, mutta se lava, joka oli laitettu siihen stadionin keskelle, niin se koko lumipyry Puhalteli siinä koko aika. Okei, okay, no kuitenkin. Tässä täs on yksi artikkeli Yleltä, jos, joka vähän kertoo, mitä siellä tapahtui. Mä olin vähän kaukana, että niin kuin mun videoista näkee, niin pitää oikeasti zoomata, että halu, jos haluaa nähdä jotain. Mutta joo, tässä sanotaan, mun mielestä oli hauska kohta, niin mä luen sen teille. Tässä sanoo, noin 2000 jääkiekkofania odottaa Olympiastadionilla kultajuhlien alkamista. Which translates to about 20,000 ice hockey fans are waiting at Olympic Stadium for the start of the gold medal party. And then it says, juhlatunnelma on katossa, liput liehuvat ja Daruden sandstorm soi taustalla. So the party feeling is through the roof, the flags are being flown and Darude's sandstorm is playing in the background. Um, lumimyrsky ei tunnu haittaa vaan juhlioita. The snowstorm doesn't seem to bother the partiers. And I thought this was funny. Sä ei haittaa lainkaan suomalaisuutta kun ollaan juhlimassa, niin tämähän sopii hyvin teemaan. Kertoo Pinja Roth. So that translates to what she's saying is the weather doesn't matter at all since we're celebrating Finnishness. So this fits well with the theme. Yeah, so if you want to Click on this article, it'll be in the description box as a link. So you can kind of look at some of the photos that Ule posted. So yeah, basically what we did during this party was we had, you know, seats on our ticket. So it was a seated event. And at first they had a couple of artists come up and sing some songs. Um, you'll get, you know, the full picture in this article. They had the women's ice hockey team, so they call them the nice leijonat in Finnish. They won the pronsimitali in this Olympics. So they came up at first and they were here. They were singing on stage with Elinora, who is a Finnish artist. 
And then after the nice leijonat, the Kuldamitaliokwe, the mies leijonat, came up on stage to party a little bit. Yivege was singing. I think a lot of you would have already heard about Yivege. So Yivege is a rap duo that has a lot of hit songs in Finland. <laughs> The singer was there singing his famous song, Boika Sauna. So I just wanted to highlight this song in particular because I wanted to give a little bit of background about this song. Definitely go check out this song. It is a good song and it was a huge hit at the time it came out. So a bit of background about this Boika Sauna song is that, da -da -da, I'm just reading the article here. So originally, this song was Julkaistu, was published, came out in 2011, 2011. Uh, this says Poju Teki Alun Yup is a um, ice hockey team in Finland for Yväskylä. Mahdollisia Suomen mestaruus juhlia ajatellen. So Poju originally made this song thinking about Yup potentially winning the ice hockey Finnish championship that year. Um, Yup ei kuitenkaan voittanut Suomen mestaruutta. Yup, unfortunately, Yup anyways didn't win. Wait, Yup ei kuitenkaan didn't actually voittanut win Suomen Finnish mestaruutta championships, um, but it became a hit um, after Suomen voitettua jääkiekon maailmanmestaruuden after Finland won the world champion ice hockey gold medal kun Poju esitti kappaleen kauppatorin kansanjuhlissa when Poju performed the song at the kauppatori a tori, Helsingin tori uh, kansanjuhlissa at the kauppatori, you know, torilla tavataan party and here on Wikipedia it also says Kanada maljasta, which is the trophy they call the Finnish championship they call the Finnish championships trophy the Kanada Malia um, if you want to look into that there's a whole Wikipedia article about that too sometimes a nickname for that is boyka which means boy so it's about bringing the boy home so bringing the trophy home so that's kind of what the song is about which is why it's often used as a theme song for Finland winning ice hockey games, championships, st uh, stuff like that. And in this case, the Olympic gold. Okay, so then we had Boyu singing some songs, we had Yivege singing some songs, we had the Leijan Jokue partying on stage. And then to kind of end the celebration, the artist Vesala, if you've heard of that artist, performed Finlandia. And in this party, they described the Finlandia song as fin the most beautiful <laughs> they described it as finland's most beautiful song suomen kaunein laulu is what they called it and then after that the players both the male and female team took a victory lap a, a kunnia kierros around the olympia stadion so that you could kind of see them a bit up close and they're waving and you know having a good time and the funny thing was okay there was a few people who were probably a bit drunk and full of adrenaline, jumped the fence and just made a run for it um, onto the, what is it called? The kenta. Um And yeah, in true Finnish fashion, it's not like they were running towards the players to hug them or say hi or anything. They were just making a run to the center and kind of flopping into the snow and making snow angels. <laughs> And I'm saying there's not just one of these people. There was more than one. There was like five, six of these people, one after each other, just jumped the fence, ran into the center, dodging the security people and just, you know, plopping into the snow and rolling around in it. It was hilarious. Um, but don't do that if <laughs> if you're at events, it's not allowed. 
But anyways, tähän lopuksi I'll give a little shout out to the Leijonian Kultamitali joukkue. So I'll just read through their names so you can... Because all of these players are quite famous. So yeah, you'll know how to pronounce their names in Finnish. And we can at the same time give them a little bit of applause. <laughs> So anyways, first we have the Mali Vahdi. Mali Vahdi is a goalie, so Mali is the goal. To Vahdi of something is to kind of to watch something, to guard something. So I think it would literally translate to goal guard. <laughs> goal guard is a goalie. So the three goalies, the three Mali Vahdi, were Harri Sateri, Franz Tuohima, Jussi Olkinuora. Then we have Puolustajat. Puolustajat are the defenders. So they were Ville Pokka, Niklas Freeman, Mikko Lehtonen, Valtteri Kemiläinen, Juuso Hietanen, Petteri Lindbom, Sami Vatanen ja Atte Ohtamaa. Then we have Hyökkäjät. Hyökkäjät are the... Sorry, I know these terms better in Finnish. Would it be a forward? Not attacker, forwards? Because um, hyökkäjä literally translate to attackers. So in my mind, I'm like, oh, attackers. But I think it's a forward. Mm. Let me know in the comments what the actual English word is. We have Marko Anttila. He's very famous in Finland. Um, and his nickname is Marko Mörke Anttila, I think. Is it because he's really tall? He's literally, let me just Google how tall he is. Like. Yeah, okay, he's 2.03 meters, so he's over 2 meters tall. So, yeah, that's why he literally looks like a giant, and I think that's why he has his nickname, Mörke. Oh, here it's saying the nickname, The Groak. Oh, so that's where it comes from. Yeah, his large physical stature has earned him the nickname, The Groak, which in Finnish would be Mörke. So it's that Moomin character, you know, the big... Um, here, let me just show you <laughs> this one. That is the Murg, um from the Moomin, and apparently his name, his nickname comes after that. In feet, that would be six feet, eight inches. For those of you who are American. So yeah, Marco Antila, he plays for Jokerit, by the way. Jokerit is like a Helsinki-based team. And at the moment they play in KHL and actually in the news yesterday and recently there's a bit of drama and scandal surrounding them because they're playing in the Russian league, the KHL league, and because of the global situation right now there's a bit of tension between people. I think the Jokerit official fan club is kind of boycotting their games. Um, so yeah, they're in a bit of a situation, what to do because they have contracts that are binding, but also their official fan club is boycotting them at the moment because of the global situation. And um, yeah, they're also thinking about, yeah, how to kind of proceed in this. And they were talking a lot about like the Jokerit brand name and stuff like that in the news last night. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the Jokerit end up doing. If they stay in KHL, if they'll, they were talking about maybe at some point they might come back to the Finnish league. We'll see. That's a big question mark right now. Don't ask me. I don't know what's going to happen. Anyways, <laughs> that's a tangent. Back to the Hyäkkäjät. Miro Aaltonen, Niko Ojamäki, Jonas Nättinen. Hannes Björninen, Toni Rajala, then this is the Kapteeni, Valtteri Filppula. He also got the biggest applause at the Kansanjuhla. Uh, Markus Granlund, Sakari Manninen, Teemu Hartikainen, Leo Komarov, Saku Mäenalanen, Iiro Pakarinen ja Harri Pesonen. Then their coach, so their Pää Valmentaja head coach, was a guy called Jukka Jalonen. 
He's apparently quite popular amongst Finns. Finns really like this guy. I think I was kind of asking around why people like him so much and I think he's associated with the team winning. So I think he has a lot of wins under his belt. So Finnish people I think really like him. Also at the Gansan Yuhla party at the Olympic Stadium, he got a huge applause. Also right up there with Firpula. So and actually at one point people were chanting like Yuka, Yuka, Yuka's his first name, Yuka, Yuka. So yeah, he's very popular and I think people were very thankful for him because he led the team to victory as well. Oh so uh Oligin I got video. Hopefully you kind of enjoyed this little yak yakka chat. Let me know in the comments if you followed the ice hockey games this Olympics at all. Also, fun fact, Finland is hosting the next World Championships in ice hockey. They just finished building this year, no, 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 last year, 2021, they finished building this huge new ice hockey arena in Thambere, and that's where they're going to be hosting the next world championships in ice hockey. So now that we've kind of partied our gold medal, we're hoping for a new gold medal from there. <laughs> also the tickets to that sold out like this. I had, I knew a couple of people who tried to grab tickets for the finals. It was impossible, it was so hard to get. Um, so if you have tickets for that, consider yourself lucky. But anyways, I'll wrap up this video here. Kitos ihan kauheasti for watching and I guess that just about concludes this video. Till next time, moikka!